हाई एवरी वन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दिस इज प्रणीत मेहता राइट नाउट एट इनमेक्स एस एम एम विच इज अ बिग मेरेटाइम फेस्ट आई वुड सिर्फ हैपनिंग इन मुंबई राइट नाउ दिस इज सिक्स ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड राइट नाउ कम टू गुजरात मेरी टाइम यूनिवर्सिटी का एक बहुत बड़ा क्यूज आई वुड से नॉट जस्ट अस बट अज place out here where they have just set up over here and they are talking about the commercial side of shipping out here yes. so this is me who i'm talking to mr chirag patel who is assistant professor at gujarat maritime university so let's just straight away welcome sir welcome over welcome. here thank so you so sir please thoda sa bataiye mujhe gujarat maritime university ke bare mein uh, gujarat maritime <laughs> university is uh, the university which was started by <coughs> gujarat maritime board we started our program in 2019 we started with llm program which is specializing in maritime law and international trade law in the year 2020 we started with mba shipping and logistics and since then we have been doing lots and lots of uh, good activities completely into the commercial side uh, we have uh, various international partnership with cbas erasmus stc uh, just recently only we had uh, uh, the partnership with antrop uh, port so yes we do uh, have uh, lots of international collaborations and uh, yes the students have been doing exceptionally well uh, two of our batches have been passed out in uh, for mba <coughs> and they are doing really good uh, uh, so uh, on the commercial side we are the university which is focusing on the mba the programs that we give us mba shipping and logistics and the llm program for working executives also we do have uh, uh, edp program which is specializing in maritime law and international trade law so my question to you is ki why should someone come to and i am being very honest blunt why should someone come to gujarat maritime university and not to go to those uh, universities abroad like solent university uh, uh, if you uh, if you talk of uh, those uh, universities of course the kind of uh, fees which uh, the students would pay that would be much on a higher end and the same kind of content the same kind of courses we sitting in gujarat we are giving it say for example uh, if you talk of mba shipping and logistics the whole course program the whole program outline has been uh, designed or it has been taken from copenhagen business school we had a tie up with copenhagen business school when we started off with mba shipping and logistics in 2020 before that we had a tie up with them and we asked with those uh, executives of uh, or the professors of uh, uh, cbas copenhagen business school uh, to give us some basic guidelines and that is where uh, they gave us the guidelines and keeping that into consideration we have moved ahead we have uh, uh, very senior faculty emeritus faculty g raguram sir uh, who is, who was ex director i am bangalore and under his guidance we have reframed those activity we have reframed those uh, programs keeping into consideration the indian scenario so sitting here we are able to give uh, those programs which the other foreign universities are giving it is at par with those programs so that's the reason the students uh, should be coming in here especially for the commercial <coughs> programs right sir i completely agree and what about the placement because i think so placement matters if somebody is going to uk you know uk is the whole maritime hub out there you have got a bigger exposure the job opportunities are more what about the opportunities uh, in regards to the job opportunities <coughs> yes we do have a full time placement cell i had uh, the placement as a convener of placements and internship and uh, it's it's really the kind of response which the industry has given to us with regards to mba that is phenomenal uh the first two batches which has been passed out we have uh, seven and a half lakhs of average package the maximum package that has gone to 13 lakhs that too with the international placements you will not find any of the universities any colleges wherein in the immediately in the second batch itself getting an international placements that too in dubai <laughs> so that is that is something really really fantastic and really it's thanks to all the key players uh, which are into this commercial side and they have been a very really a helping hand and of course with regards to the placements uh, we are having a backup of uh, gujarat maritime board and they have been helping us in internships they have been helping us in placements so as uh, gujarat maritime board is backing this uh, university they are the sponsoring body that's the reason it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic initiative by them and we have been doing uh, really fantastic uh, really well on uh, uh, the placement side you can see over here these are the various companies <coughs> wherein we have uh, 
placed our students. We have CMA, CGM, we have uh, uh, use and logistics, various logistic companies, various freight forwarding companies. Musk, Musk TCS, all, all cargo. Next yes, next that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, and the industry <coughs> has been helping. Uh, really, really a great support. We have been having a great support from. Uh, to be very honest, I did not know about Gujarat Maritime University. So when I saw this uh, whole thing out here, rather I was confused with some other college in Gujarat as well. So right now, guys, we have one college in Gujarat which is into the uh, commercial side of shipping. So can you just tell me how many mariners who have quit sailing were there? Do you know any of those people those who quit sailing and did? MBA yes. from your batch in MBA they have not come but for LLM in the first mm -hmm. in this current existing batch itself we have 60 plus uh, years of marine engineer who is currently pursuing his engineering in the previous batch of LLM also we had two guys one was uh, uh, from nautical science background and he was first officer the another he was a chief engineer and they have completed their programs from our uh, uh, university. So you have full-time programs. Do you have also diploma? Say I'm a chief engineer right now. I'm looking at a maritime law as an alternative career as of now. And then maybe I'll get into maritime law later. So do you have any diploma yes, programs? Yes, we me? have uh, executive <coughs> diploma programs uh, also, which is basically one year program. And uh, it's a uh, uh, flexibility because we have designed in such a way that working executives can do that. And uh, the specialization which we give in ADP executive diploma program is... Uh, 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 maritime law and international trade law. Okay, so uh, I think so. We, I'll make this video end out here. And thanks for all the information that you've Thank given. You. I really Thank appreciate you. that. See, look, guys, uh, this is just a random uh, video that I've made out here because I wanted to know, gain more knowledge as I've come to Inmax SMM over here and share it with you. What I want to say is, keep please uh, before taking any step. Uh, be sure what you really want to do. If you really want to quit, what you want to do? Is it going to be the next big thing that you want to do? And how, what, uh, is it really worth it or not? But if it is, then you have options, not just abroad in India that you have to, abroad outside India that you have to go for GMAT. But there are options available in India as well. So sky is the limit guys. And all I can do is I can guide and share the information with you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.